Whenever I see a good friend of mine who's a criminal defense lawyer, I ask him, how's the Lord's work? And he jokes, trying, very trying. And then he gives me the details of his latest case, which sometimes are pretty gruesome. The motivation of murder, for example. In 1843, Edgar Allan Poe wrote Telltale Heart. And in the 1970s, Alberto Brescia adapted it into a collection of stories that he did at the time. The story is about a manservant who's looking after his client or his patient. But he begins to be obsessed by his patient's eye. It's a pale blue color and it begins to resemble that of a vulture. He has nothing against the old man he cares for, nothing at all. He rather likes him. But the eye, there's something evil in his mind about the eye. It reminds him of a vulture. And he wants to find a way to take that eye away. And the way Brezia breaks up the story into nine panels on a page. The reader himself or herself begins to identify with a manservant. We are disturbed by that eye. We're frightened by it. And in time we learn to hate it. Until at one point, in the case of the manservant, there's only one remedy. To kill the man in order to exterminate the eye. But the story doesn't end there, of course. Because when the police show up in smiling faces, They interrogate him, not suspecting that he did anything wrong. But those faces themselves of the three men, the three officers, the three civil servants, they themselves are also something very evil, very sinister. And given the history of Latin America in the 60s and 70s and early 80s, men in ties and nice suits, the banality of evil, I suppose. Then in 1909, Horacio Quiroja who was from Uruguay, which is where from Brescia was born. Quiroja wrote this story called The Decapitated Chicken. In Spanish, La Gallina de Goyada. Quiroja had an interesting history. His father died when he was very young. His stepfather committed suicide. As a teenager, Quiroja accidentally killed his best friend. And his wife committed suicide by poison. Years later, when Quiroja was diagnosed with cancer, he himself took his own life using cyanide. Like Ambrose Bierce, the American writer, he was obsessed with death. He 
was 58 when he died. And he had a collection of stories, one of whom was titled Stories of Love, Madness, and Death. And he also wrote children's stories with talking animals. Bless's style is very different from what you saw in the Poe story, almost very sketchy. The decapitated chicken story is about a couple that are cursed with having children that after a year of their birth or so, the kids become very ill. And after, they, after the ordeal, they are mindless, cruel, or as the writer describes them, they are idiots. And every time the woman becomes pregnant, they hope the newborn will be different. But it doesn't happen. And after a while, the couple begins to blame the other. Something is wrong with him, no, something is wrong with her. The kids see the color red, rojo, rojo, rojo one day, when they see the kitchen maid killing a chicken, cutting off its head. They like the color red. Something about it obsesses them, don't it? When the woman becomes pregnant for the fifth time, something changes now. They have a daughter, and after that crucial first year, the daughter is born normal. I mean, she doesn't go through that change after that year. And she grows up being the star of the family. And the couple neglect the other four. They barely feed them. They don't bathe them. The maidservant is the one who does that whenever she wants, maybe once a month. But the four boys, or the four idiots, as they're called in the story, they like the color red. And one day when the couple is sleeping, they take the girl. They drag her from the wall that she's trying to climb. The mother wakes up. The girl's name is Berta, Bertita. The father enters the kitchen, sees a pool of blood. The story doesn't have to describe what is there. It's like Kiroha doesn't have to do it here. But we see what the father sees. We experience what the mother experienced. And we're left with the horror of human capability and tragedy. Alberto Breccia, Informe sobre Ciegos, Report on the Blind and Other Stories. Thank you for viewing.